Hey friends, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the Faction Tactical V1 skates. I've been riding these for a little over four months now and really want to give you guys an honest and unbiased review. Um, for a little information for those new to my channel, I like to buy things out of my own money that I'm interested in skating. And then I also like to give kind of my honest and unbiased feedback. So if that's the kind of stuff you're looking for, feel free to tune in for more content. Let's go ahead and check out some clips. That's always how I like to start my review videos. I'm gonna talk about the boot, the liner, the sole plate, some of the frames that I've ridden on these, and then give you my final impressions with uh, who I think the skate is meant for. Let's go ahead and jump into the discussion on the boot. All right, so I typically skate a 275. My longest foot is a 275 Mondo. And with the factions, they typically come dual size shells. So that means there's two sizes per shell. So for me, it's the nine and a half ten which is 275, 280, and then the internal dimension is 285, I believe it is. Um, I noticed that the shell was extremely tight on my foot when I first got these, and I honestly didn't think that they would work. And after riding them for maybe like a handful of sessions, the toe box did open up. But um, when I do take bigger drops, I notice that my foot spreads out and I do hit the end of the toe box. So for me, these skates feel like maybe they're a half size smaller than what they're advertised as, if that makes sense. Um, but that that could just be because, you know, the width of my foot, you know, or maybe I, I have a stubbier toe, so I definitely feel it kind of hitting the top when I first get settled in. But after I get warmed up, I don't really notice it. I would just say that if you fall kind of in that bigger half of the shell, then maybe it's worth reaching out to Faction and just getting some more information about the sizing because these are a pretty costly investment. Um, so definitely don't want them to be too small for you. Um, I'm kind of happy that I fell on the smaller size of the shell because I felt that this was truly the perfect size. If my foot was any bigger, I don't think these would have worked. So Faction is a carbon boot with the skin the carbon comes up just above the cuff bolt, runs all the way back, and then you have a very low and flexible cuff uh, that connects to it. And really the only thing that holds the cuff back is the liner. I'll talk about that some more when I talk about the liner. Um, when I got these, it had a lower section of laces that were in the boot, and then the liners had a elastic set of laces. And for me, I hated the elastic laces because there was just so much going on. The little um, adjustable clamp kept catching on the cuff and I ended up snapping the bungees. And so I replaced the entire thing with a uh, set of laces. And I really liked that. I mean, I felt like these skates were really responsive because of how well they fit to your foot and with how flexy the cuff is, um, being able to lace up the boot with the laces, it allowed me to kind of lock my foot in really well, and then I could leave that cuff just a little bit loose, and then that helped translate to, you know, the amount of flex that I needed, and I didn't, when I, when I set it up like that, I found that that didn't give me too little or too much flex, and it honestly ended up being the perfect adjustment for these. So I've seen a lot of people complain about the hardware on these and they've changed them out for some aftermarket parts. I really didn't notice any um, major issues with these. I found myself like maybe once every month or every two months 
having to just add some additional Loctite, tighten it up, but I didn't find that these were like loosening up so bad or falling out every session, which was kind of my impression of people's experience. So, you know, as long as you're checking it, adding Loctite where needed, I mean, to me, these, the hardware on these didn't perform any different than any other skate I've ridden. So next thing I wanna talk about is just durability of the materials. So as I mentioned, these are skinned, comes with 45 degree strap, you know, typical aluminum buckle with plastic. I haven't had an issue with any of the materials on here. Um, so for me, not really an issue, you know, haven't worn through any of the uh, leather skin, the 45 strap, you know, haven't really busted up the ratchet because the cuff has this really nice protection on it. Um, and then, you know, with the carbon boot, I mean, everything is just super durable and plays into the responsiveness of these skates. The only comment that I really want to make about some of the durability is on the inside of the shell, it kind of has this fabric lining in there. And I found that the carbon chewed through this and actually was digging into the side of the liner. Um, you know, for how expensive the skates are, that's kind of an unfortunate thing because, you know, it really is starting to chew through the side of the liner on these. Um, but that's really been my only issue with this, but I'll probably throw, you know, some duct tape on it and um, hopefully that holds up. All right, so moving on to the liners, um, the Faction liners have very puffy padding kind of in the top, and then it's a very thin material around kind of the bottom of the boot with a neoprene toe. I found these liners to be absolutely comfortable and I haven't noticed any wearing on the inside of the liners, which is great because, you know, sometimes uh, stock liners are just very poor quality. Uh, the bottom has a grip on it and I have not noticed any heel lift or sliding around to the liners at all within the skate. So that means everything is just really well fit. Now, part of um, the liner that I wanted to talk about is because the top is so padded, you know, really this piece is what stops too much forward lean from the skates just because there's not really any forward support within the boot itself. So, um, you know, that's part of the reason that I like to light, lace these up really tight is because it still offers like support, but then I'm able to use the flex combined with having the cuff a little loose. And that just gives me the perfect responsiveness and flex that I need for these skates. And I didn't notice that it was too much uh, or too little forward lean. Um, so that was really great. I'm really impressed with the quality and style of these liners because not only do they look good, but they feel good. And I can skate for several hours without my feet hurting. Um, you know, the only downside is just having that carbon kind of cutting into the liner here. And maybe that's some feedback I'll give Clark, or maybe I'll just share this video with him so he can get uh, my feedback. Um, but overall, yeah, I really like the liners. And you know, it's probably one of the best stock liners that I've ridden. And I would say comfort wise, the liners remind me a lot of like the older style rims skates like back when Chris Haffey had sponsored boots um, just with the style of the skate and with the liner that that's how comfortable they are to me so the next thing I kind of wanted to hit on which is part of the liner review is just the internal shock absorbers that come with the factions but they basically have this little gel pad and then it's a uh, foam kind of yeah I think it's like a skinned foam um, but I've, you know, at first these things like absorbed a ton of shock and I've noticed lately that these things are starting to wear out. It's kind of like running shoes where you keep compressing them and then they don't take shock the same way. So I probably should replace these because um, I'm starting to feel it kind of in my knee. But overall, I mean, there's a pretty decent quality and they're pretty inexpensive from the Faction website. Um, but really like these and... Uh, you know, since these are carbon, that's something you do want with them as a good shock absorber. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is the sole plate. Um, so these are the stealth sole plates. They have more of a setback uh, backslide plate versus the original faction sole plates where uh, the groove is more centered with the groove in the H block and then they have the big fin on the back. Can't really talk to the original ones because I haven't skated them. So I'm just going to give you my opinion on these new ones. Uh, so basically these are a very thick plastic. The H block plate is set back a little bit, which is more uh, reminiscent of like older style inline skates. And then it does have kind of a narrower fin on the back, 
which when you look at it, it doesn't really extend out any further than the front of the boot. I found that the width of these sole plates is about absolutely perfect. They're not too wide, not too narrow, great for ledges, great for rails, good for coping. Um, I find that once sole plates get too wide, you're dragging the outside of it a lot more on the concrete and it just causes some like funny wear and then you're also sitting on the ledges in a different way. So to me, it doesn't feel as secure. Um, with the material, super fast, super, super durable. I find that uh, the only thing that I really need to wax is coping. And that's just because, you know, the frames drag on the concrete a little more, the concrete deck when skating coping. But, um, you know, with these, I just need like a little bit of wax and then I'm sailing. Um, as far as the back side plate goes, you know, I it is set back really far and it's not very often I hit the back here. Um, I usually am kind of riding in this front groove part, which is about centered with the H block. So, I mean, I, you know, that's something that I think they could fix in the future, but that's just my style of skating. But I haven't noticed any issues with locking on tricks because of the way the sole, uh, sole plate is styled. Overall, really love the sole plate, really love the width. It's uh, very solid, slides fast, and feels really good just skating. And that sole tricks, top side tricks, and uh, H block tricks, um, I do love the, like the sole plates mixed with the flex of the skates and the responsiveness is I've ridden some skates in the past where the cuff is too tall, too stiff, and I tend to overshoot top sides when that happens. And it's like very rarely that I have done that in these. It's like my feet go exactly where I want them to and it just really responds and I'm just locked in, feel solid, almost too solid. Cause I've noticed that, <laughs> you know, doing some switch ups is like a little, can be difficult at times, but, um, I don't know. It's really good. Love it. <laughs> so the next thing I want to mention with the sole plates is they're attached to the boot with numerous fasteners. And that is a huge upgrade. Uh, some manufacturers, the only way that the sole plates get held in place are with the frame bolts. And I've personally found that when uh, sole plates are secured on with the frame bolts, you get a lot more lateral play in the skate and it uh, feels not as responsive. Um, so with these sole plates being attached to the boot with so many fasteners, I mean, it just makes everything that much more solid. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is that there's this little foam uh, piece that's glued onto the top of the sole plate and that really helps with absorbing some shock and then it also helps with dampening sound. So when you land tricks, it sounds really solid. So I'm not going to really get into any frame reviews on this. Um, I've skated Create Original Frames, the Kaiser Fluid 4s, and the Icon AG60s in both anti-rocker and flat setups. And all of those have just been very complimentary to this skate. Like you've got good H-block grooves. You can ride flat, anti-rocker, very responsive. Um, I did throw on my Wish Frames for like one day and I found that the taller the frame gets because of how low cut the cuff is and how flexy the skate is, is it really made everything feel sloppy. So in my opinion, like the, if you're gonna be skating uh, factions, you're, you should be looking at a frame that is kind of lower, that puts the bottom of your boot lower to the ground, so basically a shorter frame. Um, but that's just my opinion. I know some people ride these with uh, wish frames and love them, but um, to me, it just felt like I had started to lose control when it got that tall. All right, since these are carbon, I have noticed that they do weigh a little more than a plastic skate, especially if you're riding flat. Um, but you know, once you get going, I haven't really noticed any issues with performance or like dragging my feet. So, but something I wanted to point out if you're looking at a carbon boot. All right, so what do I think of these? I think these are an amazing skate. They are a little pricey, but you absolutely get what you pay for. Um, if you are looking for a skate that has a lot of flex to it, lower cuff, very responsive with a really good fit, this is it. Um, you know, I don't know that this skate is not for anyone, um, if that makes sense. Uh, it seems like a very well adapted skate. So anybody, 
I, I think it can work with a lot of people. You can like replace the liners. You can, I've seen people replace the cuffs. It works with different frames, you know, really good build quality. Um, highly recommend it. I mean, for me, this is the closest skate to old school remedies. And I skated those for about 10 years until I had my knee injury. And coming back, that was something that I looked for was that style of flex, that style of comfort, that fit, the responsiveness, and this nearly checks it off. Um, you know, I almost wonder, you know, for me, I think the carbon maybe is a little excessive. Like I think if you did a plastic boot and, you know, had some additional material in here with, to work with the cuff, that would basically put it to equal of a remedy. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm very happy with these and I think they are working on a plastic boot in the future. So who knows? But, um, you know, I've really enjoyed these. And if you've got any questions or comments on, you know, this review, feel free to let me know. And I'm happy to answer any questions you have. But I highly recommend these. And it's honestly been one of my favorite skates that I've ridden since getting back into skating. Thanks all for checking in and we'll catch you next time.